Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we uh, got back to Rogueport and we need to talk to Professor Frankly. Um, we already did, so... In my test recording to line up my audio, I discovered that there is a star piece here. Just thought I'd point that out. Those are nowhere near as common as they were in the first game. But I was looking around off camera and for the life of me, I can't find where Darkly is, so... I'm gonna have to end the LP, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try killing Mario here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run into this wall, and then when Mario dies, the game will be over, and uh, that will end the let's end the let's play. So here we go. Ah, go. What the heck? Why is this wall like this? Oh my god, actually, to be totally honest, I knew it works that way. And I actually love the fact that the game does that. That's really creative. I, I'm surprised they thought of something like that. You can climb these... What is climbing? Oh, there's a star piece back there. I'm like, I'm, there's, there's no reason why those boxes be down there. But then you see this guy and he goes... Hi there. The name's Darkly. Do you guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just need to have something that is your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay. I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O, right? There! Perfecta mundo! While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Pikachu, baby. Hey, watch where you're drawn, buddy. I don't know what errand is taking you to Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. Anyway, so yes, we can finally go to the land of Twilight Town, and that's where we're going to be going this episode. Yes, we'll be starting the fourth chapter of the game, the fourth saga, going after the uh, Ruby Star, which still hasn't been mentioned in the game, but I just know the name of the stars pretty much. You want to come over here, and then you just want to go whoop, back down here again. You've seen me do this before. You know how it works. Now this chapter we're going to start doing, well, you know what, let's just start the chapter first. Yay, we did not get rejected. We're loved again. Yay. Chapter four. Four pigs, the bell tolls. For pigs, the bell tolls. That's not even how it goes. That's a Metallica song called For Whom the Bell Tolls. It's a really good song. Anyway, here we are in the land of darkness and red glow and evil and where the shading is only done in black. Ugh, this, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone's come from outside. You've come from far away. <laughs> yeah, those clothes of yours, I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers, right? This is a bad time to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale to hear and scary to tell, too. Oh no, the bell rang again. 
Oh, this is so awful. How could it be now? Who could it be now? <gasps> wink, wink, wink. Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, badness. Now poor Freddy not got... Now got... Bleh, got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dower. Not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? This isn't the place for a, for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. Almost said house. Here we are, in Twilight Town. I love the mood this place gives. It it it, it does it, it is kinda goosebumpy. It's not like, you know, ghost town scary, but it's kinda scary. My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and it's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That is the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond town is a forest, and in its heart is an ancient building, the Creepy Steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse o ordains that when the steeple bell rings. One of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. Will my loved ones become a swine? Will I, too, become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried, I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well... The village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you two get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Maybe you've heard of a star-shaped rock called the Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know about any Crystal Star thing, but in Creepy Steeple, there's a glittering red stone shaped like a star. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the Crystal Star. Gotta be. Uh, you people, you aren't thinking of going to Creepy Steeple, are you? <sighs> Unthinkable. Well, this guy gives me the creeps, and there's all these pigs everywhere now. Looks like what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to find a way out of this Twilight Town. Now look at all these pigs. They're everywhere. Everywhere I tell you, sniff, sniff, someone's crying in that home. We're gonna wanna leave, this is the only way out. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If you still wanna go through, even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond this town gate thing isn't that kinda cliched. You gotta be kidding me, fine, let's go ask. Damon, whoa. That was weird. Whoa, the bell rang. Mario, doesn't that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched. It wasn't my turn to get pigged. He didn't get turned to a pig, but who could've? Who could've got turned into this pig and... Oh my god, it was the mayor. Whoa, this ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What are you gonna do now? We need that dude's... O <coughs> we need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Man, like that actually is starting to hurt my throat now. Well, not really, but it's like get, I'm getting phlegm congestion in the throat area. So, yeah, and it, it's hard to start saying those lines. So I don't know what to do. So You know what? Fine. If you're going to keep crying in here, I'm going to see what's going on. This is actually the item shop. Oh, a customer. I'm sorry. We're not open right now. Oh, why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got in a fight before he left, and I had called him a chauvinist pig. And now he. Yeah. You got you know, and you know, and you know, and. So hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? 
I will do my best since we were going to go to Creepy Steeple with the. Oh, more music played. Oh no! Whoa, the guy's gate. The gate guy is gone. Mm, nope, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig. Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get in our way. <clears throat> oh, we'll just see. Ah, uh, so we have. You come back in here, by the way. You get a black key. Just, just so you know, there's a black key. Nothing. You know what black keys usually mean? Oh, jeez, these are new enemies in the game. These are hyper goombas. Um. Wow, they both have boo sheets. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that out. Um, I'm just gonna try killing one of these. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna try doing damage to this guy. And then what I'll do is I'll mini egg them. Oh, I was hoping you'd do a lot more damage than that. But it lowers their attack, and then yeah, hyper goombas like to charge up, and their attack power increases by at least six. Oh no, they like to do that too, though. Oh come on, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Boost sheets actually make them invincible for like a turn, so. It looks like we're going to be using Ground Pound, since it's the only thing we can do. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Mushroom! Ah, we still haven't gotten one of those yet. See, even with the lowered attack power and his charging, he's now doing, like, uber amounts of damage. But luckily, one Quake Hammer will take care of all of them. Luckily, using the Quake Hammer has just reminded me that I did not... <clears throat> I've not put on badges for the new badge points I've got. Oh, hey, another boost sheet. That's useful. Um, let's fix our badges up real quick. Um, a charge badge wouldn't be bad. P down, D up, nah. But a damage dodge on my partner would also be useful. And I think for now that will do. We don't have much else we can use. A power plus would be an amazing badge to use, but I'll try saving that for later. Um, let's see what's in here. Nothing. And I didn't even hit it, so I don't know how it broke. But okay. Oh jeez. That's a spiked hyper Goomba. Um, they just have one more attack, so I'm not even going to bother attacking it. You saw the stats of the normal hyper Goomba. Oh, there's a red key over there. How am I going to get this red key? Haha. Uh -huh. Anyway. <clears throat> we still have a few minutes, so... What we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go back to... Twilight Town, the town named after a terrible series of movies or saga of movies of sorts and stuff like that and everything and blah 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 uh, stop crying in there it's okay oh wait that's where we're supposed to go good thing she cried or I would have ran like the other place you're supposed to come in here and the red key, or the shop key. I don't know why I called it a red key. It's called a shop key. I'm I'm an idiot. And we got some items in here. A boo sheet, a jam and jelly, a life shroom, which is an amazing item. And a defend plus badge. It actually just straight up increases your defense, which is an amazing badge. But look what we have in the middle here. Hold up. Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Huh? Was that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here. No, no, no. I'm not like those chests. I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I'm not serious. Just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on. You know how ridiculous you sound right now? I'm laughing here. You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but it's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that you will, that will allow you to go special places. Doesn't that sound nice? Aw, <clears throat> oh, come on, please. Just find the key and open the chest, okay? I know it's here somewhere. Just go look for your blah, blah, blah. We already have the key. Oh, thank goodness. You're going to let me out. Oh, happy day. Wee-hee, fools. Ah, uh, we've seen this before. do 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 <clears throat> what were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? I'm gonna hit you with a king of curses. The cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will know the pain of having your body roll up. 
speakers. <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Savor your suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't be able to walk. That's how awful it is. <laughs> your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold R and rotate the joystick repeatedly. Wee <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. You must roll around like a silly cardboard tube. Oh, how, how you'll be left at. Now, do you understand the depth of your agony? Yes, I understand. Wee <laughs> press B, return to normal. Don't forget, mush brain. I leave you to suffer, fools. <laughs> that is going to end the episode. And with this ending the episode, next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we're going to be making our way towards the... What is this email? Ruining my outro, what is this email? That's not where the email box is, P.S. RDM you 3 so anyway, yes, next time on Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, we are going to be heading off towards the Creepy Steeple, and I will see you guys all next time.